Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we're going to be taking a look at Maya and we'll look at how you can rig stuff directly here. So, we're going to start off very simple by using this simple trash can and then we're going to proceed to something quite complex. So, if you want to check out most of the controllers and, you know, the prenups or a couple of things you need to know before you get to start rigging, link is going to be in the description. Check out the channel and you'll find videos that covers these things. Either ways, I'll explain a couple of them as we proceed. So first things first, I'm going to start out here with the simple trash can. And if you want to get this trash can, it's quite simple. All you need to do is go over to the content browser and you'll be able to get this. Content browser exists here. If you go over to Windows, General, and you'll be able to find the content browser somewhere here. So once you open that, you'll be able to find this. So we want to rig this and we want to rig it so that it will be able to open and also it will be able to close. So what we're going to do is going to be fairly simple. So first things you need to do is come over here, right click, use the face, double click to make the huge selection for a part that you want. And I'm just going to select multiple parts as well. So I need the first part and also the second part. So I'm holding down shift, right click, and I'll come over here and simply extract the face now by simply doing the extract face what i've told maya to do is i want this and this piece to be individual all right so since i need these two pieces to be individual i need to bind them back together because you know we have the lead and we have the handle for the lead so next thing i need to do is hold down shift right click go all the way down and simply hit combine now with having this and this you can now see that we have two separate objects now these objects exist differently and you can also see that this one exists differently so if you check out here you'll be able to see that and then you might have noticed that we have a couple of history happening here so what we need to do is deleting that history and a cool way to delete your history is by simply coming over to edit go to the section called delete delete by type and simply hit delete history another way you can delete your history is by simply selecting this and simply hitting the delete history button from here so once you're done deleting the history you'll now find out that we have this which we're just going to double click and call this bean body and this other one which we're going to simply call the cover so now that we've properly renamed this as bean cover and this as bean body I would like to get this out of this group so if you hold down shift and press p you can get it totally out of the group and now we can just simply select that group and delete it so we don't need this to be in a group for now but we're going to talk about that later so i'm deleting these two i'm deleting the history for the two now and i'm just making sure i have this here and this here let's go over to this section and make sure that we have everything set the way we want because we don't want to have you know values here if you have values here you can simply freeze your transform and it's going to change all the values back to zero so now that we have this ready to go the next thing which we want to look at is how we can easily rig this and you can rig this in two forms so we already covered how you can understand parenting since there's two types of parenting that exist directly here in maya so we're going to use the very first type of parenting, which is the modular parenting, and we're going to work with that. Next, which we want to do is we want to make sure that we can add or attach joints to this so that we can use it, let's say, for games and all that stuff. So we're going to use the very simple mode of, you know, rigging. So I'm going to go over here and change this to rigging, or you can simply come over here where you have rigging and select the joints. You know so if you click here and select the joint you just have the joint selected but now because we're in perspective if i click and click to somewhere else i cannot see the joint first and also you might probably notice so i'm just clicking somewhere else you might probably notice that at the same time that i'm not seeing this joint i'm actually creating this joint somewhere totally different so we want to be able to see this joint and also create this joint. So we're going to X-ray this joint real quick by simply clicking on this button. So we can X-ray that joint. We can double click on this part or you can come over to skeleton and just simply click on this box here, which is the tool setting box. And you need to make sure that you have projected center turned on. What we want to do is just simply switch this to the side view. So we're going to switch over to the side view and simply add one joint here one joint here and also one joint here so if we turn on the x-ray you'll be able to see that and now i'm going to use the move tool and just simply move this to the point where i want it to be now other things you need to know is as much as you like creating your joints try as much as possible not to rotate them so 
now that we have this joint created you would notice that our joint is created directly in the middle all right so because we have this joint created directly in the middle so the next thing which we want to do is to go through and simply parent these objects onto this joint so that would be pretty easy so first things we need to do is select the object that we want to parent select the joint and simply press p on your keyboard next thing you need to do is also do exactly the same thing here select the object that you want which is this select the object select the joint and then you can simply do that by coming over here which you have edit and simply hit parent so these are two ways you can do this so now that we have this by default we have our object bounded to this so i'm just going to select this i can now move this wherever i want it to be so wherever this goes you can now notice that this other one travels alongside for the ride pretty neat right so the next thing which we want to do is to change all right we would like to change where the pivot of this object is so to change the pivot for our object because what we want to get now is we want our object to be able to rotate so we would like it to rotate to a given angle at a certain time so maybe we want it to rotate at this point or maybe we want it to rotate at this point so how we can do this is really simple we need to create controllers for this so for the controllers all i need to do is come over here where i have the create then go to this section where you have the knobs and then you can create a circle so with that circle created and with the scale you can scale this all as much as you want to create one controller point there or one you know controller stuff so i'm just going to hold down shift to make a copy and if you cannot make a copy if you're using any version all the way from maya 2018 all the way up once you double click and come over here you know here you, you'll be able to activate that stuff here so now that i have a copy I need to select these two as they are and then i need to go over to this part which is the poly modeling tool or you can do that from here and simply you know delete the history if you want to do that and at the same time you can come over to the modify and freeze your transforms all right this is extremely necessary once you're creating controllers so i'm going to freeze the transform and i just have this object the way it is so by just simply freezing the transform now I can still do exactly the same way or i can still do exactly the same thing which i did earlier which is parenting our object but before i start parenting this object i would like our object or i would like the lead all right or the cover to actually open from a different point so to do this i'm going to press d on my keyboard which is the short form or the shortcut and simply move this over to a point where i want it to open from so let's say i want it to open from a point like here and i'm just going to do this only on the controller all right only on the controller so once i grab onto this controller i can get this happening okay so now that i have that done the next thing which i need to do is to select this object as it is let's actually do that from here i can select this object as it is then i'll go ahead and select this other one and then i'm going to come over to constraint and do a very simple parent constraint so why I'm doing the parent constraint is so that at any point in time, I select this and choose to rotate this. You can see that our lead comes with it. Next thing which I need to do is I can select this now. I can choose to do the parent constraint if I want. This doesn't really matter that much, but I can choose to do the parent constraint if I want for very simple objects like this. I can also select here and do the very modular form of parenting, which is by simply clicking here and also click in here so now that i've done this you would notice if i click here i have everything working so let's just go ahead and test this out you can see i have this working but then i need these to also work alongside with this so i'm going to select this right now select this one and do exactly the same form of parenting here so now once i start moving this you can see this moves and at the same time once i click here and choose to do a simple rotation you can see this rotates so for some good old-fashioned housekeeping i'm just going to select this and rename this can base controller and i'm going to select this and call this you know can top controller all right so with this done 
it's quite easy for you to simply you know play with this and make your changes as much as you want now you can simply rotate your object like this but then we now have a little problem now the problem which we have is at any point in time we rotate this we get to pass through a certain point which we don't want and that was the main reason why you know you had to freeze your transforms earlier so we would like to limit the bounds of this so this goes all the way up and closes way too fast so i would like to limit the bounds so to limit this bounds what i need to do is to simply come over here so i would like this to open all the way to a point like this say 80 for example so i'm going to just simply you know mark this rotation z and i'll come over here where i have my attribute editor you can actually activate that by pressing ctrl a and with this controller selected i'll go over to this part where i have all of the transforms and then i'm clicking limit and within this limit you know we already talked about z i don't want any of these rotations to happen so i'm just going to set all of them to zero what we're going to do is you know position this over to this side so we want it to be a plus sign for this other one we want it to be zero so I'm just going to push that there and simply turn this on. If we make sure that we have all of these things checked, we have no rotation for the Y and we also have no rotation for the X. So the same thing applies to the other ones. Other ways that you can still limit the way things work is now that you've done this, you know, someone might be tempted to go through and mess around with this. So you can select everything that exists here, except this particular value, right click, hold, go all the way down here, lock and hide. So now you have only one object you can play with. And at this point, you can't even use this. And at this point, you can't even scale. So for this other one, we would like to do exactly the same thing. But I think we don't really have a use for that. So I'm just going to keep this as it is. So for the translate, translating distance back to zero and also this back to zero and that's it i will see you guys in the next video and yes if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to turn on notification and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace